Well, this all happened on a busy Sunday afternoon right near the entrance to the market. Police chased the suspect a couple blocks away, arresting him for malicious mischief and assault. Seattle firefighters rushed to help a man who'd been knocked to the ground and was bleeding heavily after being knocked to the pavement head first. This all happening during a busy Sunday afternoon on a holiday weekend near First and Pike by the entrance to Pike Place Market. Court documents state the 24-year-old suspect had been trying to start a fight and followed two people into this store, punching one of them. The blow causing the victim to fall into the store's scanner. Police say the suspect continued to threaten them, started to walk away, but then suddenly turned around and punched the victim again. Every day, you never know what you're going to see. Jarrell Banks works as a security guard nearby and says he's not surprised about Sunday's attack. And I see people smoking all kind of drugs. Um, I've seen people naked out here. The Seattle Shirt Company, which has a location at First and Pike, hired their own security a couple years ago to protect staff like Crystal Odie. I've seen an ambulance or a fire truck there weekly, if not twice a week. This area has also seen an increase in assaults in recent years, according to SPD's crime data. I've had people spit at me. I've had people try to punch me. Um, there's been one guy who we had to make sure that we shut down the shop and whatnot because he was like actually threatening to uh, violently hurt us. We asked if there's anything being done to increase security in this area, but Seattle police would not say if they're making any changes as the summer travel season gets underway. We have their own security. If we can monitor this corner and there's another company or business doing the same thing, I think maybe it can work out that way, but we got to help each other out some way. And the victim was taken to Harborview Medical Center for his injuries. The suspect, meanwhile, is currently booked and being held on a $100,000 bail. Reporting live in Seattle, Lynn Ann Wynn, Cohen News. Lynn Ann, thank